McCarran doesn't like it when civilians wander into military outposts, so if you're here on business, better make it quick. Radio signal out here can be pretty spotty because of all the hills. Sometimes our scheduled updates don't go through. When it happens enough times, they send someone over to check up on us. Lately, we've been getting extra medical supplies for some reason. I'm in no rush to give the supplies back, either. Ranger Station Charlie. We're responsible for keeping the highway up through Novak civilized. All quiet at the moment. Ranger Beaumont is in charge here, but he's off leading a patrol. We're part scout, part commando, part sheriff. The training is brutal, and I'd say eight out of ten recruits washes out before the end. Before you get your ranger badge, you've got to prove you can be quieter than a shadow, and more ferocious than a deathclaw. Couple dozen, I'd say. Most of them posted at stations like this one. We either man the station or patrol the immediate area. The Rangers mostly draw from the basic NCR army. A trooper who shows exceptional skill at fighting and scouting can be nominated for the training. Sure. See you around. Call me a biscuit if it ain't my old friend from Good Springs. Don't rightly know. I just got the notion to make my way to New Vegas. Reckon I'll find out when I get there. Seeing how this is the only road around, I'd be a sight more surprised if we didn't run into each other from time to time. Novak? Nice enough place, I suppose, but between you and me, when I roll into town, my skin starts to itch. Watch yourself. Likewise, friend, likewise. Is there anything old Vic can do you for? Well, this ain't New Vegas, but I reckon you can find what you need here. Try the office out front. No, don't believe I did. But you might ask around. The Novak folk usually see anyone traveling this way. That's a mighty fine offer, but I'm gonna need to conserve my strength if I'm gonna make it all the way to New Vegas. I'm sure you'd do just fine without old Vic slowing you down. Be seeing you. Well, welcome to you. You look tired from the road. Why don't you relax a spell? Let this fine town take care of you. Oh, what am I doing? I got to thinking about making a good impression and plain forgot to tell you my name. I'm Jeannie May. I take care of folks here at the motel, long as they aren't troublemakers. We're in a little desert oasis, name of Novak. This is the Dino Delight Motel, and it's mine. Well, there's Dinky, the town mascot. He's a sight. You probably already saw him when you came in, but you can go up inside, too. Up the roadways to the west, there's Repcon. That's the old rocket factory. There's been some sinister characters out there lately, so you may want to stay clear. Other than that, nothing to do but take it easy and enjoy good company. Well, up north a ways, you'll see a big tower. That's Helios 1. Used to be a power plant in its day. And there's a town just east of here called Nelson. Used to be such a quaint little place until those slavers took it over. 
But we got our wonderful snipers keeping an eye in that direction, and so far, the slavers have left us alone. Go see Cliff Briscoe at the Dino Bite gift shop and tell him I sent you. I think he gets lonely standing around in that dino belly all day. He'll be glad for the company. I just know what I've heard. There's supposed to be some ghouls that went in a while back. Ever so often, there'll be a commotion from that direction. Explosions and such. Watch out for strangers. I hope you're finding everything to your liking. Well, let's see. Dusty McBride's been losing some Brahmin, but that's probably the heat more than anything. Honestly, it's been real quiet. Ranger Andy's still hurt, but we got these two gentlemen snipers watching the road day and night, keeping the trash out of Novak. They've been a blessing. Well, I think that's a fine idea. I'll give you a good flat rate, and you can stay as long as you like. At least until the busy season comes. Sound good? I'm glad you can stay with us. Your room will be the one upstairs, closest to the lobby side. Here's your key. Let me know if there's anything I can do to make your stay better for you. Well, he might have been wearing a fancy outfit, but he wasn't any kind of gentleman to me. Had his nose stuck so high in the air you couldn't see it above the clouds. City folk. They always think they deserve better than what they got. Those hoodlums he was with seemed to know Manny for some reason. He's our daytime sniper, up in the dinosaur's mouth. Watch out for strangers! Welcome. Come on in. Welcome to the Dino Bite gift shop. My name's Cliff. If you're here for the T-Rex figurines, you're just in time. There's still a few left. Well, there's T-Rex figurines, of course. That's our bread and butter. We also have an assortment of the Repcon factory souvenirs, rockets, things of that nature. Guns? I, uh, well... Yeah, I guess I might have a few. Darn it, no one ever buys the T-Rexes. They're scale replicas of the real thing. Very detailed. Got a liquid in them that makes them glow. From what I hear, Repcon used to give them out on tours of their HQ up in Henderson. But I guess they had to stop after the first few kids thought they were filled with Nuka-Cola and drank it down. The papers had a name for the condition and everything. They called it the Repcon Shakes. Those were bad times for Robco. Well, they unloaded what they had left on the dino bite as a tax write-off, but that was before my time. Plenty of demand for them, seeing as how they're one-of-a-kind collector's items, but I might still have some in back. Bless her. Seems like every traveler I get in here tells me the same thing. They see the sign and think, gift shop? That's just too good to be true. But Jeannie May always points them back in my direction. Well, a friend of Jeannie's is a friend of mine, and my friends get a discount at my store. Come back soon now. God damn it. Don't sneak up on me like that. What do you want? Yeah, I guess maybe I am. But not like you. Huh. Maybe it should have been you I was expecting all along. Why are you here? Yeah, well, you see anybody wearing Legion Crimson or a lot of sports equipment, you just let me know. You still haven't answered my question. I think you better leave. I don't have friends here. No. No, you're not, are you? Maybe you shouldn't go. Not just yet. 
I need someone I can trust. You're a stranger. That's a start. I want you to find something out for me. I don't know if there's anything to find, but I need someone to try. My wife was taken from our home by Legion slavers one night while I was on watch. They knew when to come and what route to take, and they only took Carla. Someone set it up. I don't know who. My wife's dead. I want the son of a bitch who sold her. Bring him out in front of the nest here while I'm on duty. I work nights. I'll give you my NCR beret to put on. It'll be our signal so I know you're standing with him. And I'll take care of the rest. I need to do this myself. I know, all right. That's all you need to know. I said it was a start. This town, nobody looks me straight in the eye anymore. Good. I'll make it worth your while. And one more thing. We shouldn't speak again. Not until it's over. No one in town knows that I know what happened to my wife. Best they never know. Or the Legion will be after me next. Yeah. Is everything all right? Awful late to be dropping in unexpected. Nothing that wouldn't be wrong with any man who loses a wife, I suppose. Poor dear. I know he thinks she was kidnapped, but I'm not so sure she didn't just run off on her own. You could tell she was thinking about it ever since they arrived. How should I put it? I guess you could say she was kind of like a cactus flower. Real pretty to look at, but there was just no getting close to her. She never did take to living here. She liked the big lights and fast living of New Vegas. I got the feeling she was trying to get Boone to leave with her, but I guess she got tired of waiting. Okay, if that's what you think. I hope you're finding everything to your liking. Watch out for strangers. That's it then. How did you know? I guess I shouldn't be surprised. It'd be like them to keep paperwork. Here. This is all I can give. I think our dealings are done here. I don't know. I won't be staying, I know that. Don't see much point in anything right now, except hunting legionaries. Maybe I'll wander. Like you. No. People die out there. Often enough that no one worries about blame. They're too anxious to forget it happened in the first place, I guess. Besides, I was on break when it happened. You don't want to do that. Yeah, that might be true. That's reason enough for me to take you up on it, I suppose. But this isn't going to end well. Fine. Let's get out of here.
Hey there. Fine weather for flying. It's times like these that make me miss it all. Vertibird pilot. 71 missions and only lost one chopper. Rotor malfunction over Klamath. Hard landing, but I walked away. I help folks strip down the more complicated bits of salvage they bring in. Engines, mostly. The bits and pieces we take out are usually worth more than the whole thing put together. Four? No, not exactly. It was a long time ago. Things are a lot different these days, and those days are way behind me. Watch your six out there. I don't know if you know, but since Jeannie May passed, I've been keeping an eye on her properties for her. I think it's time we gave everything back to you, so take this key and make yourself at home at our motel. It'll open the room on the second floor, closest to the lobby. Uh, hope it suits you. Really? I never thought I'd see the day. I mean, the day I'd part with them for such an incredibly low price, with so many other offers flooding in. But I like you. I think maybe it's time. All that's left is in the storage room here. You can buy the key from my store. What's going on, man? I'm Manny. I'm on security detail here. You see a rifle barrel sticking out of the dinosaur's mouth, you got a 50-50 shot at me. Otherwise, it's Boone. Boone's a sniper, same as me. Used to spot for him when we were enlisted with the NCR. After we got out, I talked him into settling down here. So, here we are. I'd introduce you, but, uh, we're not so friendly right now. Me and his wife, we didn't see eye to eye on some things. We had some pretty big arguments. One day, she turns up missing, and he hasn't said a word to me since. Man, you name it. See, I grew up in North Vegas. Me and my cousins, we were some bad seeds. Got in with a gang, I loved it. Then something happened, and I couldn't handle it anymore. So, I enlisted, earned my future, brought down my best friend to share that future with me. And here was this woman, who was too good for it, trying to take him away. So yeah, I didn't see eye to eye with the bitch. Were they tough? I was in the cons, man. It doesn't get any badder. Oh. It was great. I wouldn't trade it. Something about that lifestyle, the discipline, seeing new places, making people safe. What's not to like? Uh, well, I just felt like it was time, you know? Wanted to have a home. Plus, I was up at Camp Golf when Bitter Springs went down. I faked like I was sick to get out of going because I knew some of the people there. But when everybody came back, nobody would tell me what happened, and people would call us murderers sometimes when we showed up to secure towns. I still don't know exactly. Just that a lot of people died who didn't want to be a part of the fighting at all. I don't blame anybody for it. There's so much chaos when you're fighting. You're lucky not to shoot your own guys. But it did take something out of it for me. It just wasn't the same. So when it came time to re-enlist, I just took my papers and walked. You name it. Anything that comes within a thousand yards that looks like trouble. Lately, we've been getting ghouls, coming from the road to Repcon out to the west. Quite a few last couple days. The big threat is the Legion coming from the east. If they decide to attack with a full force, they'll run us over. But so far, we've been lucky. Sure, I know him. What do you want with him? Must be something pretty important to be chasing a guy like that. Well, listen, I can definitely help you find him, but I've got problems of my own. Maybe we can do a trade. You need my help. There's something I need, too. Novak, it's home for me now. I want that to be for good. I like it here, and I've left too many homes behind. But the only resource we got here is junk. Without that, people wouldn't have anything to trade. They don't have to leave. 
We get most of it up the road from the old rocket test site, but a bunch of ghouls showed up one day and took it over. We can't get in there now. I would, but I've got to watch the road. Caesar's Legion has been taking territory just east of here. They took Nelson. If we let our guard down, they might attack. All it takes for the Legion is for them to sense weakness. Well, they gotta go, or this'll be a ghost town before long. Doesn't matter to me what you do. As long as the ghouls are out of there, that's good enough for me. It'd mean a lot to me. Yeah, see ya.